The deck is Elemental Mage. The goal of the deck is to play elementals every turn if possible so that we can follow our curve, keeping them active, working our way towards Tainted Remnant and Sleet Skater so that we can finish out the game with Big Burst. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! All right, Rogue. We have a variety of things often. Let's just uh, keep an early shard so that we ensure that we... A lot of burst, but not really the minion curve that we desire. All right. Let's just follow our minion curve. Hopefully find something for turn three. It's actually kind of nice. Because this would like to come down with something else, like a Firefly or what have you. Okay. It's a quick use of the coin. Hey, there's a Firefly. At some point, we do need to make a decision as to whether or not we want to forge this. I'm leaning towards probably yes right now because that's 12 damage from hand or 7 mana, which is a lot against Rogue that is often lacking in healing. It also just works well with my mana utilization now. Then again, so does that. Another Firefly. Go here, basically here, here, and Forge. Okay, no two drop. That explains why they broke the first one so aggressively. Let's start here, see what we get off of this now. Wow. Let's uh, freeze this. For a second, I thought the horn didn't refresh. Um, I guess we might as well just start pumping more damage to face. And not worry too much about forging this. Just because it slows down our pace a little bit too much. No. Oh. That's kind of rough. I need to fireball that. Let's see what's in here first. Yeah, we're just, uh, I guess, giving them a bit more healing. So that does mean we're going to want to forge this now. Are there many hands that, like, have playable cards off rip with that? It's a second excavate. I imagine not too many. Maybe the druid one with, like, an innervate? Okay, it's the mill rogue. That doesn't mean they get a heal bot. In huh. Vanish. Okay. 
is possibly going to demand either a Vanish or a Heal Bot. They can't Heal Bot and Brand, though. That said, I probably need to find a way to kill the Heal Bot if they just play the Heal Bot here, because then they can Vanish it back to hand, and that might be, like, a long-term concern. So I want to go for removal off of the Illidari studies, potentially. Like an I-Beam or something would go kind of nuts. Rogue is not supposed to have healing. This is illegal. that they the heal bot costs three they could go heal bot coin vanish here or even just brand heal bot this is kind of infuriating not gonna lie They have to kill the brand. Damage doesn't really matter here because they just have infinity heal bots, apparently. This treasure ain't fit for our pirates. They still haven't played the uh, gang up, which I imagine will target that. Nope. Okay, so if we bump that off, it will be the last. No, it's not. Healbot should be gone now. Let's just huck this upstairs because there's a chance they play the... They can't vanish this board, right? That would be crazy. They're vanishing this board. <laughs> I just make a full board of Oasis Overflow Surgers for the rest of this game now, I guess. Opponent appears to be under the impression that overdrawing cards matters. But it doesn't. What has mattered this game so far is the number of times that they've played Antique Healbot. My hand is full. Oh my god. <laughs> Let the bad Is this the single luckiest opponent in the history of Hearthstone? I thought they were gonna pick the Cold Light Oracle for a moment. Jeez. go here first just so they don't guarantee I get a free card off of that and they're inevitably going to generate something that clears this board again and 
I'm inevitably, inevitably going to get frustrated by it. They simply are just the luckiest opponent on the planet. Only got 15 damage that will make it through this turn. It's a freezing trap. Wait, no, it could be explosive. Oh my god. No, no, it came off of this. It's ice trap, right? That means if I forge this, it costs. I can't play it. Forge it and play it next turn and pray that Velorok doesn't win. It's fine. They still have the Azerite Scorpion. But they don't have hand space for it right now. I'm not playing minions. If that is another ice trap, I'm able to forge it and play it this time. Oh my god, no. Okay, we're fine. So we go face. I don't even need to uh, forge it. It is another ice trap. Oh my god, what an, <laughs> what an obnoxious game. <laughs> Don't smell me. That's weird, dude. These two can work well together. This, oof, okay. Well, I'm going to have some elementals to play, that's for sure. You can't hide from me. We'll have a little Pleasure bit of running into you. I think this is pretty likely to stick here, right? So that gives me the flexibility to go here or one of these three. Okay. It was likely to stick, they just happened to top deck an answer. Okay. Use this and play this and then just take a value trade. I think we're a little bit behind, behind right now, so I'm fine. Um, like, playing for board right now. Okay. Good at fighting off uh, one ones. There's one twos. I guess not necessarily with the Leoc, but we can always fireball a Leoc if need be. Piggy. Very good draw. Oh my god. I wouldn't mind finding a Sleet Skater so that I can gain some health at some point. But it would also be nice if I just simply didn't need to do that. 
I need to clear those off for the sake of the... Okay. Well, that's a huge problem. I need to pick up a Tainted Remnant. Holy... Now it's me. I'm the luckiest <laughs> player in Hearthstone. It was important because this was uh, recovering and going to be a problem for blasting through these. good, but uh, so is this. This has the potential to set up a counter swing for lethal, thanks to the fireball in hand. I think if we don't die here and they just trade, we suddenly turn onto the offensive. But they're just leaving lethal on board. Apparently. Apparently the opponent is very much done with having skill. And HP. Turning back now. Got a few options for turn one as well as uh, turn two. It's going to depend on how much the opponent develops early. Okay. Just go ahead and freeze that then. cards. Oh my god, you're going to give me a heart attack. <laughs> what were you doing? Okay, so next turn we can either go in on the synthes Synthesize to set up for the Unchained Gladiator, or we can coin the Sleet Skater and set up the Gladiator the turn following that. Spells cast fast enough to make that relevant. Let's just develop onto the board here. You don't pick the ones. Now, Sleet Skater that. You don't pick the ones. Let's 
this raid. There's two coins in hand. from clearing about the board here. Let's lead with this. This is going face. This goes here. That's another good pickup. So is that. to the end of the world. Legendary. I wonder what it is that they're not playing it. All right, I think next turn we want to play the Synthesize. Shove as many low-cost elementals as possible, set up the Unchained Gladiator, and hopefully... Yikes, okay. Well, that's going to require the Fireball, isn't it? I mean, it also, you know, on top of just being terrifying on the backswing, it costs us a lot of damage to try and kill it. also a really lucky roll. That gets me into fireball range. Hmm. I think I like drawing the cards here. Here, so that one of the, I just need one of these to go face next turn because I have the uh, fire Ellie plus ping. Oh wait, no, I guess I need two of them to go face, or this one to just go face. For some reason, I thought it did five damage. You have no idea what I'm capable of. Oof! Wow. How did they hit ex exclusively their own minions? That was also a really unfortunate order for them. Wow. That went pretty close to as poorly as possible as I think it could have. 
Because, like, this summoning earlier in the turn would have been helpful for clearing stuff off. Yeah. Well, we found the luckiest and the unluckiest opponent in all of our sun so far.